Hey there, thought we'd do a little newer version of a video about how to install a nuke. And one of the uh, kind of key things, especially that we found with our bees, the feedback, which we're very proud of, is how strong the nukes are. And so it can kind of be intimidating and it can also risk, it's a higher risk of you accidentally crushing or missing the queen because the queens in the vast majority of our nukes are established already. And so in other words, they're not in a cage or what have you. So uh, anyways, first thing you do, here's a great, great example. If you can't install your nuke right away, uh, you can put your nuke beside the hive that you're going to hive them in with the entrance facing the same way. Because when you transfer the colony into here, the pheromones, uh, immediately a lot of the bees are going to use their Nasanov glands to signal that the colony has moved and it's within close enough proximity that any of the field foragers coming back are going to be able to sense that and go in to the hive. And so, anyway, as you can see, they're bearding a bit on the, uh, uh, on the front of the nuke because they're so strong. So anyway, so we just open our nuke. Really important. Once again, when you're dealing with a nuke this strong, if you have bees on the, uh, on the lid, it's amazing how many times the queen can be up here. Another point to make regarding the queen, don't spend time looking for the queen. 50% uh, of the time I can't find her. I mean, if I really have to look for her after 20 plus years of beekeeping, I can find her, but Queens can be really hard to find, so don't worry about looking for the queen. Look for eggs, tiny little grains of rice in the cells, and the easiest way to see eggs on a sunny day is have the sun at your back shining into the cell, because sometimes they're harder to, harder to see. We've got five frames already, and then we got five frames in the nuke, 10 frames all together. I'm gonna pull one out. I'm gonna take these bees here and just jar them in there. So I know, I mean, now the handful of bees that are left there, I can just glance and see the queen's not there. So go ahead and, and a really nice thing about these cardboard nukes is you can pull the sides down to give yourself more room because if you're pulling these out, it's easy sometimes to roll the bees if you don't pull the frame straight up and down. So if you pull the sides off, that gives you room. You can take frame one by one and uh, go ahead. And, now, I don't know if you can actually see, there are eggs here. Let's see if you can maybe kind of get an idea. And you can touch your bees. They feel like velvet if you're gentle with them. Can you see them? See them in there? Little grains, like little grains of rice. Anyways, so we'll keep putting these in. You put the frames in the hive in the same order that they're in the nuke. And the reason being is because they have brood, a brood nest developed and you don't want to separate that brood. And so that's all we're doing, just transferring frames. Once again, queens, queens can be shy. And so a lot of times when you are uh, messing with the colony or, or installing the nuke, she'll run to the sides of the frame or underneath. And so that's why, once again, you just want to be really cautious that when you're dropping the frame in, you're not hitting it against the side of the box or what have you, but you're just minimizing as much as possible the possibility of her getting uh, crushed or rolled. Last frame. Now what we can do is take our hive tool and compress them. Because once again, now you have to remember that they were compressed the same way. There's still always the risk of accidentally crushing the queen, but the whole thing is to minimize it. Now you're gonna have bees left in the nuke. And once again, what you're wanting to do is just turn this around and just shake them out. Because sometimes, I mean, sometimes, you know, you get these little clusters of bees and 
the queen can be in there. You can just take these out. See there's bees. Bees, see like that. So we just on the safe side. Get those all shaken out. Wait for the uh, bees to go down if you need to smoke them a bit to help them. And that's it. And so here, once again, we'll show you another. Do it a little quicker and you can kind of get an idea of how quickly you can go through these. Here's a little trick that I do. I would not suggest doing this unless you have been doing this for a while and are comfortable enough. But what I do is I'll do two frames at a time. frame you want to make sure that you're putting it down in the frame as much as possible straight up and down so you're minimizing crushing or rolling bees against each other there again there you, go. you have a little cluster of bees like this you can take your hand and Move them like that, they don't mind. You have to remember that bees are used to rolling against each other all the time. And so there. So that's how efficient, effective, I guess efficient, I guess it's effective too. Uh, nuke installation can be. And uh, that's how your uh, new year with your bees starts off.